Hi folks, today I have a very special treat, for me anyway. Uh, when I was a kid, um, one of my, the first pets that I picked out for myself was a tarantula, a pink toe, um, avicularia, avicularia, um, that I uh, saw in a pet store and really wanted. Uh, my mom and stepdad, in an effort to thwart this interest, told me that if I read everything about tarantulas from uh, an authoritative book and understood how to keep them and maintain them on my own, then they would consider uh, giving me the tarantula. Um, much to their chagrin at the time, <laughs> as a nerdy researcher coming up in the world, I of course read everything I could get my hands on about tarantulas, and they obliged my interest by uh, purchasing a pair of them for me and setting them up in a, a nice large, uh, well, it seemed large at the time, it was probably a 20 gallon octagonal fish tank uh, with some, some greenery and it was, it was a, a thrill and um, we were all able to handle the two to three inch um, spiders and enjoy the, the sensation on our, on our arms and just kind of come to terms with the fact that spiders are not terrifying killing machines, they are typically docile, they will only bite you if you are an idiot and provoke them, or un unlucky and provoke them, or inexperienced and provoke them, and um, New World spiders, that is those from uh, the United States, uh, Central and South America, um, are, are more likely to run away than they are to bite you. And even if they do bite you, uh, it'll be a puncture wound, which hurts, but the venom will be relatively minor, um, so not not a big deal. Um, fortunately, none of us ever got bit. Um, we did not provoke them to such a state that they felt the need to defend themselves in that way. They never escaped, uh, and it was a, a very, very pleasant experience. So. Um, they died after a while. I dabbled with a couple of other tarantulas and then uh, went off to college and for the past 15 years have been bereft of spiders in my life. But today that changes. It is a pleasure to um, share with you an un unboxing and housing video of three spiders that I just that were just delivered uh, from Tom Patterson, who's a reputable breeder of tarantulas and um, other arachnids and invertebrates uh, based in uh, on Long Island. Um, so uh, yeah, without further ado, let's open this box and uh, see it. So they, they were shipped overnight by FedEx. Um, they arrived, um, I believe, 25 hours after they were shipped. Um, so they made good time. Um, I'm expecting that they are all happy and healthy little critters inside. Um, so I'll open this up. Uh, yeah, so Tom has packed this with uh, styrofoam insulation, about a half inch thick. Um, <laughs> that, is, that is a uh, Pocillotheria uh, metallica, I think, <laughs> which is a absolutely beautiful spider. Someday I hope to have uh, pokies, as they're called, but these are old world arboreals. They are very fast, uh, very can be very bitey, and their bites are medically significant. They won't harm you. Well, they won't do lasting harm, but they will give you excruciating pain and uh, possible muscle numbness and uh, tightness in the chest for days after the bite, so I'm not messing with those yet. <laughs> But that is that is a great sticker. I'm gonna put that right on my face. Okay, so now we have newspaper. And then
emptying the box to make sure there aren't stragglers, other stickers, um, anything. Okay, so looking inside, that is an empty but well insulated box. Uh, so these these spiders arrived safely. Um, if you've Here we have four vials, which is one more than I was expecting. Um, so this is a, an Ibirapora diversipes, um, which is a relative of the Avicularia avicularia. Um, okay, my camera is freaking out here. All right, so I think possibly the newspaper is confusing it. I will move that out of the way. Okay, um, so the Ibirapora diversipes um, is a the Amazon sapphire uh, pink toe tarantula. So it's a pink toe, like the Avicularia avicularia. Um, recent, so it used to be an avic diversipes, but they were uh, moved in I think 2017 to a separate genus. So Ibirapora diversipes. So that goes in uh, eventually that labeled container. Um, this is the Carabena versicolor, uh, used to be the Avicularia versicolor. Uh, this is the Martinique or Antilles pink toe. Um, so that's another one. And so that goes in that container. Um, this is the, I believe, Samopeus Cambridge eye. Uh, so these two are arboreals and I am not at this moment super uh, familiar with P. Cambridge, but I will become familiar as I um, go quickly make an enclosure <laughs> to house it and a label. Um, so I will uh, set that aside for a moment. Um, so it doesn't have an enclosure. Uh, so these three are spiderlings. They're about a half inch. Um, so they're all tarantulas. They'll grow these two to three inches roughly probably similarly three to four inches for the P. Cambridge eye. Um, this one um, is a Phytopus regius. Um, it's, a, I believe, a, an adult spider, uh, so it's between around a, a half to three quarters of an inch. But this is not a tarantula, it's a jumping spider, which is, I don't know about you, but for me, jumping spiders were my uh, first introduction to friendly, happy, uh, cute looking spiders. Um, they are adorable. Uh, and so since it's a grown up, uh, and it's not going to grow much beyond its current size, uh, I already have the, it's forever home, uh, constructed. Of course, if something happens to this enclosure and I have to clean it, I will rehome it. Uh, but the intention is that it's not going to need any more space than that. Even so this tank is uh, large for a jumping spider, for sure. It's way overkill. Um, but uh, spiders are an observational hobby, not uh, so interactive. So the enclosure has some greenery and rocks and cork bark and uh, sphagnum moss, more for mostly for my enjoyment, um, but also to give the spider something to climb all over and enjoy. Um, so I am going to... Uh, stop the video at this point in the unboxing uh, so that I can go and make a quick uh, enclosure for the P. Cambridge eye um, and uh, look up some information about how not to kill it uh, and I will be back in a minute. Bye! Hi folks, welcome back! So I've just uh, put together this enclosure out of an old uh, so the plastic box that an ink bottle came in. Uh, thanks, Visconti. Uh, so this is for the Samopeus uh, Cambridge eye, uh, which is the Trinidad Chevron tarantula. Uh, it is also an arboreal species. So uh, Tom did me a solid. I ordered two arboreals, and he sent me a third. Uh, this one is not from the Avicularinae. Um, it's a, a totally separate genus. Uh, I think that they they tend to be a little bit more skittish than the Avicularia, or formerly Avicularia, um, but it's still a, an arboreal new world uh, with a, a neat pattern on its abdomen, so 
yeah, that that's exciting. Uh, so just a quick, um, so the all all of the spiderling enclosures and the jumper enclosure are basically the same. So it's a layer of lava rock on the bottom, a layer of a uh, short fibered uh, sphagnum moss uh, to prevent dirt from drifting down into it, and then a layer of uh, soil that is moistened, um, and then. Um, based on Tom Patterson's advice, a layer of mostly sphagnum moss for the spider to kind of make its its home out of, um, so getting up out of the dirt. And then uh, this one has a few holes in the lid. Um, these ones I had a bit more uh, advanced. <laughs> Should have, I guess. The lesson here is to buy twice as many enclosures as you think you'll need and prepare them, because who knows what's going to come in the box. Uh, so these ones have um, holes in the lid and neatly drilled holes in the, the side also for plenty of uh, cross ventilation. Um, this one uh, has less cross ventilation um, and is a smaller enclosure so I might, depending on how it works out, I will probably pick up some more of, uh, some more of these uh, next time I'm out and make a replacement or an identical enclosure for all all three of the tarantulas. Um, okay, uh, so without further ado, uh, let us begin the unboxings. Um, so I'm going to start with the um, P. Regius. Um, the P. Regius enclosure, uh, this one is glass, um, and so I had not Worked with glass before, uh, but it came with a a mesh uh, a metal screen lid, uh, which provides a lot of ventilation and tends to dry out pretty quickly. Uh, so I replaced that with a piece of glass, um, into which I drilled some some ventilation holes, which was an adventure. Um, it is doable. Uh, it takes time and. Uh, I'm still working out the method. I think that it works best if you have a, access to a drill press, so you can kind of control the um, the pressure and the speed more precisely, and uh, have the lever arm to bring the drill bit into contact with the glass. Um, I used a hand drill um, and a glass cutting uh, carbide drill bit, um, but yeah, your as they say, your mileage may vary, but. Uh, if all you have access to is a glass tank, um, and or well, that seems to be your best option, uh, don't be super afraid of drilling holes in it. It can be done. Uh, I also, so those are not the only holes. You can see along the side here that there are holes drilled in the glass side of the enclosure. Um, try to do a good job, if you're gonna do this, of supporting the glass. Don't let it uh, sort of free stand. Uh, I also <laughs> made a naive attempt at uh, flame polishing the holes after I drilled them and as you can see here this line is a crack all the way from top to bottom of that panel uh, I epoxied over it so hopefully the the tank still has structural integrity uh, but don't don't do that um, so you can I can rub my fingers on the edges of these glass holes and they're not they're not dangerously sharp there's no need to actually do a flame polishing step and it just risks breaking everything after you put all the work I mean the first hole that I drilled took an hour uh, the last one took a minute um, on the far side, but uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> go go as fast as you feel you safe doing, and uh, don't bother flame polishing. So enough said about that. Um, otherwise, this enclosure is the same as the others. So it has the lava uh, rock, uh, short fibered moss, dirt, and then sphagnum moss. It's also got a couple of so my local nursery sells miniature plants intended for terrarium setups. Um, so I have a fern and a plant of dubious origin uh, in this enclosure. And it's, okay, my camera doesn't know how to focus, so I'm just gonna push this back. Oh, and I have a 3D printed D&D uh, &D figurine in there posing as an explorer um, facing the massive native jumping spider population. So that seems like it's kind of fun. Okay, so I'm going to push this back into the far corner so that I have some working space. Um, I have never actually, oh, that's not, eh. I have not unpacked a spider like this before. Uh, so 
Um, I'm not sure how exactly it's going to go. I'm trying to give myself plenty of working room uh, because I'm expecting it to not be, well, to be happy to be free of this container that it was shipped in, which means it's probably going to try to scarper. Um, okay, here we go. Totally unnecessary to use tongs, but again, uh, since you can see inside. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pull this out. She is <laughs> it's a lovely spider. I am thrilled. Okay, she's <laughs> doing a little threat posture. She's adorable. <laughs> I'm scared, spider. I'm scared. Um, okay, that is a that is a gorgeous spider. I'm going to real quickly try to snap a uh, macro picture with another camera. look adorable okay all right sorry i'm going on like a kid in a candy store let us attempt to <laughs> rehouse this adorable little i mean she's not actually that little i mean as far as jumping spiders go so i'm just looking she has all of her all of her little legs and everything seems to be seems to have survived shipping no problem uh, so this is a healthy um, healthy spider uh, she's got all the parts she's got uh, spots on her abdomen um, oh and I'm saying she uh, so this is so uh, according to Tom this is a female Phidippus Regius um, I have not sexed her and I'm not arbitrarily assigning gender but the males of this species are entirely black and white, um, although I think that they have color on their chelicerae, chelicerae, um, but uh, this is a female. She <laughs> doing her the head tilt thing. That's so cute. Okay, um, so this is an unboxed spider. Um, <laughs> she's so cute. I'm thrilled. This whole purchase was worth it just for her. But we have others to get to, so I'm going to. Um, put her attempt to put oh she's climbing up the paper towel sort of as expected okay, go the other way no 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 get off get off get off go 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 okay now she's on the paintbrush so this is an improvement she's climbing up the paintbrush so that's not oh and she just jumped off into the enclosure so she is um rehomed so I'm going to put the lid on because clearly from the top, so from the top, so there's a large cork bark tower in one corner from which she could definitely jump out. So, okay, now she is uh, confined. Uh, so these are 1 8 inch drill holes in the side, which you can't see because it's off frame. Um, but uh, I don't think, I don't think she can squeeze her head through those holes. So I think that we're, we're fine on that front. Um, for the others, I drilled uh, three thirty-seconds inch holes in the plastic. Uh, and if you look, in the, I don't know if you can see in the well in the background, she has climbed up the terrarium plant of dubious origin and seems to be <laughs> she's settling in just fine, doing a cute hand wavy thing. Okay, I'm gonna spend the rest of the day watching her, but um, let's move on to the next one. Okay, the jumping spider is successfully rehoused. She is attempting to climb the walls with a glass enclosure and is not getting any traction. So yeah, 
given the the height of the holes through the glass above the substrate there's no way there's minimal risk that she can reach the holes let alone squeeze through them so that's all good okay on to the tarantulas so i'm going to start from right to left um, in order of my perceived relative excitement about each of them so starting with the um, Trinidad Chevron or Somalpais Cambridgei. Um, so once again, doing this sort of as far back from the edge of the light box as I can. Um, that my tongs are massively oversized for this procedure. Um, but okay, so that is coiled up. I'm going to try to. Okay, we have a smooth pole that came out as a plug, didn't start on like, constricting, so that's a good thing. Get my paintbrush at the ready. There is inside a very small, very adorable spider. I think people are afraid of these guys. Um, so it is colorful. Um, so it's got little little pink bands on the legs. Oh gosh, <laughs> it's already moving. <laughs> I am glad this is not a larger spider. I would be in trouble. Um, so, okay. So I'm trying to look. I can't see, oh. I don't know if you can see, okay, that's out of focus, but there is a chevron pattern on its abdomen, so that's very cute. Um, thanks, Tom. I appreciate this uh, unexpected addition to the now four spider strong collection. Okay, so now let's get it. I don't know its biosex. Um, get it into the tank. We can okay that's not really working try to put it a little bit more sideways okay it just ran onto my hand dropped off okay. brush it This is a very... <laughs> Almost got her. Uh, in you go, in you go, in you go, in you go, in you go. You, you are obstinate. You are as obstinate as my dog. Okay, she's in. I'm going to put the lid on okay that is too far up no 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 back on the paper towel back in the enclosure okay lid on okay oh you'd think it'd be easier to outsmart <laughs> a half inch invertebrate But the P. Cambridge eye is, uh, re <laughs> is in, in its enclosure. Uh, I don't know exactly where it is. Uh, I'm not gonna, I can't, uh, can't see her. It, oh, there it is, yeah, okay. So it is, I don't know if you can see it in there, but it's, it's in there, okay. <laughs> what an adventure, my goodness. So I do have uh, a new colony of uh, Blada lateralis cockroaches to feed these guys, um, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to give them three days at least to settle in um, and unwind from their bumpy, jostly journey to my doorstep, and then from their enclosures over to the shelf where they're going to be living. So I'll give them time to settle in. Okay. Um, 
Next we have the Carabena Versicolor. Um, these are remarkably colorful. Um, the Antilles or Martinique pink toe tarantulas. And we have the damp paper towel inside, which is good for humidity and temperature control in uh, transport. So uh, let's try again pulling this out. Again, it's coming out as a plug, not unfurling in any way. So the spider is not at risk doing that. Spiderling. Oh, oh, it's gorgeous. I don't know if you can see, but it is uh, a vivid, like a blue-green color. It seems to be much slower moving than the Cambridge Eye. Um, but my goodness, what a beautiful color. them while they're out in the open or capture I mean photograph capture on digital film um, that is just a striking little spider wow absolutely beautiful I don't know if you I don't know if the color or the focus is coming through on this smartphone, but fantastic. And, oh, apparently their toes start out. Oh, that was a bit of a far drop. Oh, because I was breathing on her. That pissed her off. Lesson learned. Don't talk at your tarantulas. Um, okay, so they are, so their toes are, her toes are black right now, not, uh, not the advertised pink. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. She is was in the enclosure briefly. Let's try to get her it. I don't actually know if it what its naughty bits look like at this point. I won't know for many molts, but um, of course if you're familiar with spiders, you know that the the males tend to um, mature quicker and also die a lot sooner than the females. Um, so females are preferred by hobbyists, so to keep in your collection for 10 years or so uh, seems better. Um, but for prolonging the species, um, and you can see she has, it has no difficulty climbing the walls of this enclosure. Okay, so that was a much less difficult rehousing <laughs> than the Cambridge Eye was all over the place. The Carabana Versicolor um, was moving slower, seemed to be much less agitated, uh, and sort of settled into her, its new home um, more quickly. So I'm just clearing the detritus. Um, okay, and now we have the Iberopora diversipes, um, the Amazon sapphire pink toe, um, which is also a strikingly colored tarantula. Um, the nice thing about these two species is that with every molt, their color scheme uh, changes. So there's plenty of, um, if you can see them, there, there will be plenty of uh, diversity in an interest in, in observing them with every molt. So I'm excited to see that. Um, not soon necessarily, but uh, as they as they grow. Um, this one is, the paper towel is a bit more densely packed in there, so it's hard. Okay, still coming out as a plug, so we're good. Okay, looking for the seam. 
Okay, we have another tiny little spider. This one, the color is, oh, right, they don't like it when you talk at them. Color is less vibrant than the um, Carabana Versicolor right now, but it is still, it's kind of more brown, um, but that's fine. I'm trying to get the, so the abdomen, I would hope if I was in frame, um, just a, a very adorable spider. And looking at her or its carapace, there's no way that's going to fit through the 330 seconds holes in the enclosure. Okay, that was probably the easiest rehousing yet. <laughs> she just walked right into the sphagnum moss. And I just want to try. Oh, back. Out, out, out. We're back in. In, in, in. Okay, so now. Okay, she just dropped down to the sphagnum layer. Um, Okay, that is the fourth and final spider uh, rehoused. Uh, so this is, again, um, my first shipment of spiders from Tom Patterson. Uh, with luck and time, it won't be the last. I am impressed by the, the packaging and the <laughs> certainly the selection of um, not only spiders, but uh, in arthropods, invertebrates, all manner of things that Tom offers. Um, shoot him an email at tompatterson77 at gmail.com for a price list um, and to see what he's got on offer. Um, very, very responsive spider breeder. He has uh, gorgeous specimens uh, and some, some really lovely spiders. And he included a, a, a freebie. So buy, buy three spiders, get one free. Uh, and clearly he put some thought into... Um, sending me an arboreal tarantula because um, the other three spiders that I ordered are all arboreal um, jumpers I don't know terrestrial arboreal mix but all arboreal so he didn't send me something that I wasn't already doing research and had to keep so um, kudos to Tom all the spiders are present and accounted for and my jumping spider is at present making a liar out of me move you to see her. She's so cute. I'm tickled to pieces by this spider. <laughs> she is exploring all of her enclosure. Um, I might try to feed her before I try to feed the tarantulas. Um, so her, the um, cockroaches that I have available are more her size. There are pinheads, um, certainly but um, yeah, a lot more intermediate sized things. And if she won't take one of those, then I can go and find some crickets. Okay, she just fell all the way to the bottom of the enclosure. So I don't know if that's the safest thing, but that is an adorable little puppy dog of a spider. Okay, uh, I will not submit you to any more fawning over the new spiders uh, or subject you to it. Um, if you want more of that, uh, well, I guess stay tuned. There probably will be more. Um, and you can request such things in the doobly-doo, I believe it's called. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I look forward to keeping you posted on the progress of these spiders as they grow and molt and eat. Um, yeah, I will see you next time. Bye-bye. fall. Turn around before you fall. There is the focus. Such a cutie pie. Yes, downward.